Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of me doing dumb shit. I believe this is episode 10 of my Develop to Destroy series. Last time I posted a video of this series was, I think, two years ago, so it's been a while. But today, I have a film suit video. I souped a roll of Fuji Superia in some ocean water down at the beach at Wildwood, New Jersey. So I do have a different film souping video of just like salt water, like household salt and water. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see the different effects from each, like in some ways they're similar, but in other ways they're very different. Obviously the ocean has so many other things in it, like pollution and all that jazz, so results are different. Today I'm going to be showing you my photos. I think they turned out really dope. I actually really love them and this might be my favorite results I've gotten from a film soup, so heck yeah. I'm going to show you my photos, we're going to talk a little bit about them, and I have some vlog footage to show you, and yeah, so stay tuned. So first and foremost, I want to say if you're new to film souping, basically if you've never heard of it, what you do is you soak a roll of film, it can be 35mm, you can do it with 120, doesn't matter, and you just soak it in some random concoction of liquids, or one liquid, or literally whatever you want to get interesting effects. Um, I have a whole video on like a guide to film souping and some recipes if you're interested I'll link it below. Definitely if you've never film souped check out that video because there's some things you need to know. Alright so now that that's all out of the way let's get into it. So basically I soaked this roll for about three days um, shaking it intermittently maybe like once or twice a day I know the first day I shook it a lot more than that, um, just trying to like make sure the water goes all the way down the roll. I think three days worked really well, it seemed like it went all the way down to the end of the roll. I could even, when I was developing, I was like putting the roll into my reel, you know, and I could feel some sand on it, so that was kind of gross, but interesting. So on the technical aspects, I shot this in my Pentax IQ zoom camera. I developed it myself, like I said, using Cinesos C41 kit. I scanned it on my Epson V600 scanner and I edited it, I edited it using Negative Lab Pro and Lightroom. For videos like this, I try not to edit it too much, but I do edit the photos to my liking because it's my my photos, my art, you know, I want it to look good, but it's really not much. It's very minimal. Um, I do tend to edit towards the warmer side though, so just keep that in mind. I like the warmer tones, so don't know why I talk with my hands so much, but here we are. So yeah, I think that's it for the intro. I'm going to play some vlog footage and show some of the photos and then I will be back to talk about them a little bit and tell you my favorites and show you the rest that you might not have seen in the vlog footage. Yeah, okay, bye. See you soon. Servo AF. What? Your shoes. I've gotten you in this because I can't see a damn thing. I hope so too.
one I really like. I actually enjoy that there's basically no effect of the film soup on this because I think it looks really nice without it. I love the way the lighting's coming in on the couch and yeah, I feel like if there was an effect of this film soup it would kind of ruin this picture. Wow, you're back so soon? That was pretty cool how that works. Magic, right? It's actually just the next second for me, but you know, magic of editing, it's pretty crazy. <sighs> anyway, today I'm not going to get into too much detail talking about the photos. I'm just going to show you some of my favorites and tell you my thoughts in case you are interested. So this first one, really pretty. I like how um, the sun has just like the ram rambo rainbow orb around it and it just has like that perfect star effect when you use like a higher aperture or whatever. It looks pretty neat. Next one is a photo of this car. You're not really a film photographer unless you take pictures of a car. So here we are. Uh, this one I think turned out cool. I really like it. That's pretty much all I have to say. I, I, composition, I guess, could have been better, like maybe if I got closer, but other than that, it's fine. Next one, I think this looks pretty dope. The effect on all the photos is actually quite similar. Like, it seems like each one really got that yellow streak in the middle like that, which I think is interesting. This one, I love the colors in this one, that subtle effect of the film soup at the bottom with the red, and then the really pretty blue tealish color of the motel. I think it looks really pretty. Next one, I have the same thoughts. Um, it's the same motel, Seascape Inn. I just, I think it looks pretty. Um, this one I think might be my favorite. Pretty sure, I just love the colors. Um, I like the composition. I love the color of the sky. I like the effects of the film soup in this one. I just think it looks really nice. This one got a bit of a stronger effect than some of the other photos. I think it looks pretty cool though. I kind of wish there was more of an effect in the upper right corner because the sky just looks kind of boring, all empty like that. This next one is just a random dumb photo of me and Brandon. I think it's really cute, honestly. I really wish the effect was at the bottom though and not covering our faces. It would have been perfect then, but it's still funny. I like it. Next one, this one's really interesting. Obviously it's a fucking river and a duck. You know, but the way the effect happened, I love how the duck is just like perfectly right there in the middle where there's no effect. I think that turned out really cool. That's about it. Let me know what you think. I know film soups aren't really everyone's cup of tea, but I think they're cool. I like to experiment and try new things and I think it turned out really dope personally. So let me know what you think. If you hate it, if you love it, if you're indifferent, um, if you'll try it yourself maybe. Um, how your day is going, let me know. <laughs> That's gonna be it for today. I'm going to give a little reminder that I have some prints available in my shop if you're interested. Um, I was thinking about doing maybe some prints for this role. I don't really know. Um, I have this like metallic chrome paper that looks really dope, especially with like film soups. It almost looks 3D, so I might be printing some. I don't know if anyone's interested in that, but it's fun for me to do anyway, so yeah, I think everyone should print their work at least a couple times in their life because it really makes you look at the photos differently, you know? I also have a Ko-Fi website where you can donate a couple bucks and help me buy some rolls of film if you're interested in that. If not, it's totally fine. Um, just putting it out there because, you know, you're not going to know unless I tell you. Um, I'm gonna go away now. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. So my lens was on manual focus this entire time and I had no idea. Oh no. Yeah. This is the Jeep man.